But moving on, still talking upsets. This was another big one. Number 15 seed Princeton upset number two seed Arizona. And and ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, my guy Ben, well, he kind of picked Arizona to go the distance. Ah, oh, Ben, I, I can only imagine that your bracket is in shambles. How how are you feeling about this one? <laughs> well, I'll be honest, it's disappointing. I mean, you know, but I did say this, I and I mentioned it. I think before we um, yesterday on the two three Ben zone. The one thing that could hurt Arizona is sometimes their offense doesn't click. You know, they have games where they don't shoot the ball very well. And yesterday was kind of a good example of that. You know, sometimes they get complacent offensively. Um, You know, their front court, I thought, could have done a better job rebounding. Princeton, I think, got a lot of offensive rebounds in that game. Um, They were – and Princeton hit a lot of shots too, you know. Yeah. And they were more aggressive, you know, and that's something that, you know, kind of surprised me because, you know, Tommy Lloyd, he's come from that Gonzaga uh, coaching tree. You know, he was there with few for 20 years and then second year in Tucson. And, you know, Arizona's an aggressive team. And I thought yesterday they kind of weren't. I don't know if they took their opponent lightly or not, but if they did, this is a lesson. You don't take anybody lightly, especially Princeton. And Princeton, you got to understand, you know, Pete Carell, the old coach, he did the Princeton offense, you know, with the backdoor oh, yeah. cuts. We saw oh, a few yeah. of these yesterday. And that that's another thing that caught Arizona off guard was the backdoor cuts, yep. you know. Um, yeah, Arizona, they're a good team. But, again, they were one of those teams. And I took a risk picking them, you know, because I thought, hey, if they could – they're a team that could put six you, games together. weren't the only one. Right. But they can also stumble in a right. – I didn't think the first round, but they could stumble in like the second or sweet 16, you know, and that's what happened. You know, sometimes that's just how it goes. One year I picked uh, Michigan State to win it all, and guess what happened? They lost to Norfolk State. Oh, my goodness. Round. Yeah, well, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, but look, like you said, Arizona's susceptible to this. I mean, they lost to Arizona State not more than, what, a month ago? You know what I mean? During the regular season, and Arizona State is not, you know, not in the right home belt. So, at least this season. When it comes to the Princeton, and it comes to this type of game, one of the uh, the the themes that's been going around is some of these smaller teams, just if they can just stick around. If they yeah. can just stick around later in the game. And, hey, Princeton, you had that. But, look, they were going toe-to-toe with them. Princeton shot 40% from the field. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now they were four of twenty-five from three, but at the same time, they the defense that they played held Arizona to only three of sixteen from three. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you know, again, it's vindicative of what, vindictive of what we said before. You know, the front court, like I said earlier, yep. yep. Was not. I don't. It didn't impose their will on the a smaller team like Princeton, and to me, that surprised me because I I would think your front court, you got good players on the front court. Um, I can't say their names because they're, you know, hard to pronounce, but yeah, I mean, you saw it. They, they didn't get enough scoring in the front Try court. They got out rebounded as well. So absolutely. So they stopped being a good, yeah, that's a good point by uh, Chris there. You know, they went up 12 late and then again, the lack of aggressiveness, I don't get it. You know, I, part of that could be coaching too. You know, Tommy mm-hmm. Lloyd say, hey, you know, all we got to do is just, you know, hold on to the ball, get a few shots. No, you got to you gotta grind it out for 40 minutes. And, you know, mm-hmm. because stuff like this can happen. You know, Princeton came back. But even though they only hit four threes, I think a couple of them were in the last few minutes of the game. So that made right. a big difference. Well, and, and look, if you've seen any of these games, especially the tight ones, it's been a game of runs. It's been a game of back and forth. I and mean, we were talking about the Michigan State game a little earlier. I mean, a little later, Michigan State went up early. Then all of a sudden, you got USC coming back in there. Then Michigan State, the USC, it's back and forth. The same thing going on with, with this one. You talk about that 12-point burst, and then you have, a, you know, sometimes guys have a tendency to coast. And like, hey, this is what we're supposed to do. So let's just rate it up. But Princeton never gave up. They never stopped shooting. And, and they kept in this game. They hung toe-to-toe with them, and they stayed around late. And you see the result, man. So shout-out to Princeton, man. This was big. and and. The thing about it, <laughs> it's upsetting. 
if you're an Arizona fan, and I know I know you are dealing with this, but you know, Arizona, this ain't the first time this has happened. This is oh no, this no. is they, they, they've <laughs> uh, they've dealt with this a number of times. I think Arizona is the only team to have lost to a 11, a 12, a 13, and a 14 seed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I had to do that to you. I saw that stat and I was like, oh, ah, I feel for them. So, hey, no. this is the tournament. This is the way it is. One and done. March, baby. It's March. That's oh, what it's all about. You know, give, absolutely. give props to Princeton. Don't be upset if you're in Arizona. I mean, you're up, you're disappointed, but sometimes the better team won. And the better team that day was Princeton. <laughs>